Hi, this is Aaron at Agdusa Solutions. Today we're getting ready to do another install for a customer on his Case IHA 230 combine to get him ready for this fall. This combine features a 12.9 liter Beko engine which has our H or IV6000 injector driver module. With this module you can expect to see up to 30% more horsepower as well as 20% fuel savings. Uh, we're going to go over a step by step uh, install video of where all the connection points are at and what will be needed in this video. Stay tuned and we'll show you uh, how to thoroughly get this accomplished in the safest manner. When you receive our module, look at our install instructions and I'll also show you, but to go over a few uh, key points for our module, uh, this particular one will feature a four pan map sensor uh, connector. This is a Bosch connector, both male and female, we use all factory connectors on our harnesses. Then you're also going to have your ECM connector, which features a male and female connector as well. And then you'll have your power and ground wires, which you want to be secure, especially on these Avecos. Uh, try to avoid the intake grid heater. Um, as far as a power and ground source, that is not sufficient enough, nor is it even a good power and ground source. It also states that our install instructions. And then our module, it has three positions, stock, 15%, 30%. We recommend leaving it on 30 because that's where you're going to see your best performance results. Uh, for this install, you're going to have two main connection points, which is right here. On the intake horn that's your map sensor and then it's going to be the ECM plug on top. If you look at the ECM here the orientation of it's going to be the one on top. In order to get to it you're going to have to take them both off and then we're going to go to the alternator for our power and ground source. For the uh, power terminal that's a 15 millimeter nut in order to get that off and for the ground terminal that's going to be a 12 millimeter nut. So we'll go ahead and get all this uh, ready and we'll show you step by step how it goes together. Go ahead and begin this installation process. First, we're going to remove the map sensor. We will take, we're going to release this tab here and it comes off. That's going to be a female connector going into the male portion of the map sensor itself. We'll take our female portion of our harness and plug it in. See, make sure all connections snap and secure properly. And then we will take the factory female portion and plug into our male portion on the harness. And these only go on one way, it goes ramp side to the clip, it will not go on the opposite way. That's secure. Now we will now remove the bottom ECM connector in order to access the top. You can hear it once it releases completely because that weather seal, you can hear it uh, change from being suction to non suction. So we'll get this out of the way here. Now we'll go to the top one. Or at least that. Now, what we're removing from the factory harness is a female connector going into the male portion on the ECM. So we will take our female portion of our harness and as you can see, we've got the latch. It's fully released. In order for that to go in, you want that latch fully released. Now, with it being set in place on the alignment tabs, you want to lock it back as such. We'll now take the female portion of the factory harness to go into the male portion of our harness. And this is too is only going to go in one way, so don't force it. We don't want to damage anything. As you can hear, that snaps securely. That's good and in place. I'm going to now take the other ECM connector and go back to the ECM with it. Okay. Now we got all this safely secure. We'll zip tie this up later. But uh, now we're going to be ready for the power on ground. Wire, as I said, on the ground terminal, that's a 12 millimeter. And on the power, that's a 15. We've now uh, completed this install on this 12.9 liter of Echo with our IV6000 injector driver module. We've got everything zip tied up. As you can see here, uh, we've got the module on this good wiring harness. It's sturdy here. That'll keep it away from any moving parts, components, let airflow get through to prevent high heat uh, situations. Uh, but just a little recommendation here. We usually mount our modules with the switch facing down. That way in the mornings or uh, if you get a good rain, moisture can't build up on top of that module and seep in through the weather seal on the harness side. So we generally just face that down to prevent that from happening. Uh, but as you see, everything's good and secure. We've got it fired up. Uh, we'll turn the master switch back on. Um, should see great results this fall, upwards of five gallon an hour in fuel savings and those tough beans. 
as well as uh, up to 30% more horsepower in those tough situations will help alleviate a lot of that engine load and help your engine run a little bit more efficient for you. I want to thank this customer for another great product. I know he'll enjoy it this fall. Be sure to check us out on our website, agdieselsolutions.com. There you can find further install instructions for different makes, models, and applications, as well as further information on what our modules can do for you. Also, be sure to check us out on our Facebook page and like it, as well as our YouTube channel. You can here see uh, further install videos, customer testimonials, and tech tips. And you can also check us out on our new Instagram uh, page as well. Always remember to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Ag Diesel Solutions and Modules. Thank you guys and stay tuned and have a great day.